Okay guys, so it's been a little bit of time since I've made a new video about a new model. Now obviously I don't give a fuck about politics, alright, don't don't come at me with your poli- I don't care, okay? I just want to test the model, that's it. I don't care what Grok does beyond that, I don't care if you don't like Elon, whatever, you know, <laughs> I'm just testing the model, okay? So, we have our kind of testing point, which is creating a website very similar to this website right here. This website, by the way, which was created by me using Claude Sonnet 4 on the day it was released, is actually ranking extremely well on Google. They're getting like daily phone calls, daily emails to this business. I don't really know where they're coming from. I think they might be coming from Bing. But yeah, it's been a while since I've used Klein as well. So what we do is we use Klein to build a Next.js website and I've got the prompt and everything ready to go. So on my school community, if you go to the uh, classroom and it's inside all my prompts slash workflows, there's just a handy thing here with all of my prompts and workflows right here. So we're gonna, great, we're gonna grab this one right here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to make a new project on Visual Studio Code. I haven't done this in so long, I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, I'm not sure if Klein will have actually updated yet, but we'll see in just a second. I might have to use Recode instead, but we shall see. So sh we'll call this <coughs> Grok for release. Okay, it's been so long since I've used Next.js. It's actually, I'm actually kind of excited to use it. To be fair, it's kind of kind of fun. So yeah, like I said, this website actually does rank extremely well on Google. Um, the person that paid for this website was extremely happy with the amount of hits that they get and the amount of calls that are coming in. Uh, we just set them up with an email as well. So, I mean, yeah, he's happy as Larry, which is which is kind of nice, to be honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, let's grab these. Right, this is the prompt. Um, th this is just the exact prompt that I used to create it. So let's go to settings here, go to open router, and we'll go Grok and see if it's available. Grok 4, there we go. So this is the new model as far as I know. Let's just check. Grok 4, yeah. So this is the new model. Perfect. Uh, so we'll do at mode. Um, we won't even use plan mode. I don't like to use plan mode during this um, this workflow, this uh, benchmark that I like to do. So we'll just put this here, right? And we'll say you are inside a new app called, uh, what is it? Grok for release. And then we just have to find another version of this website. So we'll just open this up. Uh, this should be inside here, public folder images so we'll grab these images these are for the ai to use so we'll just uh, open up this on visual studio code like that and then we'll go here i hate that augment code opens up twice i really really dislike that so we'll call this public and we'll call this images if you don't know what i'm doing guys i'm basically making an extremely quick example of a next.js generated website which would actually you can actually sell these websites to 500 to 3,000 to be honest with you and I'm going to show you how easy they are to create right now as well and at the same time we're going to test Grok 4. So we'll go to Klein here, this is the first time I've used Klein in probably two months I would guess because I've just been so obsessed with uh, Claude Code. So here we're going to put, um, what is it, Grok for release, there we go and it has the public folder and we should just be able to hit enter here. This is my first time using Grok 4. I will give my honest opinion on uh, how it is. It's got a slightly better context window than our friend Anthropic. Um, but yeah, we'll see, how, we'll see how this does. So this is the school community, guys. This has got pretty much everything you need to get started with this kind of coding. Uh, a lot of this coding is in AI development. This has a uh, table of contents right here. But a lot of this stuff like AI generation, local lead generation, so... This is one of those websites that I'm making now, but on WordPress. There's just a lot of stuff that you can use, a lot of stuff you can learn. All of the Claude Code stuff right here, using the Claude Desktop app, which is what I call low code. So if you've got no idea what you're doing with coding and you just literally want to just jump into some kind of creation, right? Then this is a really, really good um, course to allow you to do that. So make sure you check out the school community if you just need a little bit of help or whatever. It'll be the first link and also the pinned comment. Uh, first link in the description and a pinned comment. So let's see how this actually does. So, I mean, yeah, this is correct so far. Obviously, we'll be keeping an eye on this as it goes. I'll be able to tell if it's doing a good job or a bad job. 
Okay, so just so you know, guys, I will be completely honest in this review. Whether the thumbnail or title reflects that, that's just the game, right? But however I th genuinely feel about this model and how it's done, I will be completely honest with you guys, and I will tell you if I think this is worth your time over something like Sonnet. Now, obviously, with Sonnet or Opus 4, you have Claude Code, and honestly, Claude Code is incredible. Um, but yeah, like, I, I don't really miss Klein, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's see how this does. So we just need to run npm run dev. Now, like I said, I'm going to be fairly critical of this. I've done this many, many times, so we have an error. That's okay. We'll give it a couple of error fixes. That's not too bad. Okay, so this is what we got. Um, it's not terrible, actually. The design is pretty decent. There was only one error. Let's see if any of the buttons work. So there's a contact page. It hasn't seemed to have created any of the pages that I asked it to. It hasn't managed to use any of the images that I asked it to. Let's see if it managed to do the it stuff. So the, Itali it the Italian stuff does work. This seems like a pretty decent model, but like the hype that Grok is getting right now of being easily the best model and all that stuff, I just think it's unjustified, honestly. You see this all the time. People were saying that, oh, shit, actually did do uh, quite... Uh, oh, it actually did do this. Let's see if it did the SEO. It did do the SEO. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. The design is okay. It worked, like, fairly well. It created most of the pages it was supposed to. It even went as far as creating these pages. Now, normally, I would give it a chance, and I would say, like, uh, now improve on this. I would say this is, like, kind of, you know, Sonnet 3.7 levels, definitely, I would say. So, Grok has caught up. I, I'm not seeing that Grok is, like, by far the best model or anything like that, which is what people are saying. Now, there were very few errors. I'll give it that. So, technically, very, very strong. Um, I'm impressed by that. I think the first model that ever made it with uh, zero errors was Sonic 4. So, I mean, this is kind of almost on par with that in terms of the technical stuff. Gemini 2.5 Pro, same thing when they first released it. It did a very, very bad job with the UI UX, just like this one hasn't done an amazing job. It's done a decent job, but it's not an amazing job. Um, and, you know... 2.5 Pro turned out to be an extremely good model. So I would say for Grok, for XAI, uh, and for Elon, um, they've done a good job here of catching up. This is not SOTA. I'm telling you now, Claude Code, I'll make a video on this actually, because I never have, I've, I've never actually done this test with Claude Code. Now I use Claude Code so much. I'll do the same test with Claude Code very soon, guys. I'll show you the result. And we'll compare that to this. I'm telling you right now, Claude Code will absolutely smash this out of the park. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I think this is um, this is a pretty good result. It's better than um, GPT's recent models. It's better than Llama's recent models and releases and all that stuff. You can use it on Open Router. And I'd say this is a pretty decent model. The pricing is pretty decent as well. The context length is okay. I, I'm, I'm just not seeing why I would, anyone would use this over Sonnet. If anyone can let me know why they would use this over Sonnet, just because it's like less woke, then yeah, let me know in the let me know in the comments, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. That was my honest review of Grok 4. Peace out.